All right, hopefully, we don't have too many star fruit to plant after this because this is looking it's going to be a lot. PA4 distance port low latency. What? You don't have to unlock the sewer, however. What are you talking about? For I meant to like change professions. Yeah, this is not the randomizer mod. This is vanilla, but I will be playing the randomizer mod once we finish this challenge. So hopefully in like a few days we finish up the challenge. I have no music. Oh my god, we still have a thousand to plant. Holy shit, this is so bad. Oh god, so many to plant. Now, 120 or whatever can go in the greenhouse, but... Oof. Two of the starfruit didn't finish. We have a lot of work to do. We do not have very many sprinklers. I mean, where do I even begin here? I guess we'll start with the lower portion we're doing. There's also a wood spot here. I don't have a watering can, so if I don't remember to do that, that's rip. That's fine, though. Okay. Okay. Um... We also need, we also need scarecrows. Boy. I know. <laughs> oh, also, everything has to be water today, too. Wait, I think I've screwed myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, no, it's okay. I guess I could just use these star fruit for. The, um... <sighs> yeah, everything has to be watered. Fuck. I can use the star fruit for the greenhouse, the leftover seeds, but we're not going to be able to plant everything, I don't think. We have to water everything, too. Man, we really pushed the envelope here. Ruined? Not yet. Not ruined. Not ruined until we get to the last day of winter and I don't have 10 million. <laughs> I think we kind of were overkilling it too. I was doing the math for how much money I needed and I was overshooting it by like a million, which is fine just because if something goes wrong. But I didn't even think about the greenhouse also producing more money, to be honest. But that's where some of these seeds are going to go. So that's all right. What's up, trampoline tails? Making that money. Making that goddamn money. Thank you, dude. For the sub with Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. What up? It's the trampoline tails. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> it the me. <laughs> okay, and now I need a watering can. I'm also and need to figure out where the fuck I'm gonna start planting shit. I could just destroy these coffee things and help a little bit. <laughs> Times of desperation. Um. Okay. 
Okay, up here. We can also get rid of these now, too, but... Let's go ahead and... Start placing some of these. <clears throat> I'm gonna be able to walk through my goddamn farm. Alright. Rip these. Well, I don't want to chop them down right now. It's fine. Okay, that's something. I guess we should just get started with these first and then move on to somewhere else. Probably should just... I don't know. Four plots will make or break you. Yeah, you think... without the sprinklers here actually that's actually good to know not put sprinklers down until after I planted I mean like if I had the time I guess but no I actually waste time hmm it's pretty interesting also I know pretty stupid right here but I don't have time to get rid of these so it's just gonna be like that for now okay moving on uh, water, then move on. Yeah. Water. Gold watering cans. Pretty good. Guess one top right. Ooh, good call. Sneaky sneak. What the fuck? Oh, no, I didn't. Debated. Basic speed grow, yeah, the 17th. That's true. That's true. That could definitely be viable here. Okay. I feel a little better. <laughs> it's like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's a big open space. This is helpful. Let me try to see how much more clear I can get this to. We do have to do a lot of watering still. The, the trees is really what we want to avoid cutting kind of down. Only one square and it takes so long to get rid of it. We also have big rocks there too. But pretty pushed for space, but... Start with this area then first because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. It's pretty good. I like it. Hard logs and boulders. Don't have a good enough pickaxe. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to like upgrade tools and stuff. I always forget that because I'm on like a super pimped out farm. 
This is some year one bullshit going on here. <laughs> What's up, Lucky Blue, by the way? Steel axe, yeah. Do it to remember we have to water all the stuff on the right and all this stuff that we are doing too, so. What's up, poster Mike? Ooh, there's actually more room here. So there's a considerable amount more room here. With very minimal effort, I would say. Let's see how this spot's right here. Pretty good. Uh to there, I guess. All right, let's kind of cap this off here. Plant everything, water everything, see where we're at. I think I should be able to do all of the stuff I've got right here. Like all of this, I think I'll be able to do all of it. Plus all the watering on the right side of the farm. And then that's probably about it. But I think we actually are gonna end up planting all the star fruit we want. <laughs> Barely, but we'll see. I could be drastically wrong still on that. I knew when I sold, when I was selling all the star fruit, I knew this was going to be a thing that was going to happen. To be honest, so I thought, remember I said, I thought that the spaces that I had would be 1100 star fruit, but it was only like 900. So it was like, ended up being a little bit more than I originally thought. And on top of that, I wasn't actually really thinking about the fact that I'd have to water the stuff that I didn't plant on the first day. Actually really thinking about that either so that's why it's this is so tight but i think we're gonna be all right start with all this watering thanksgiving cooking stream i was thinking about it but i'm not sure i know it'd be dope i know people would like it but i don't know Kale and I have been talking about it, and I haven't ever done a turkey before, which I know is that is like, oh, good, then we really want you to do that, but yeah, I just don't really want to do that, and Kale and I, we both like turkey, but it's not like we need to have the turkey, you know, so what we are planning on doing which was her suggestion, was just do, like, pot roast. And then, um, you know, we'll have, like, some nice rolls, and then I'll make some, like, homemade mashed potatoes and stuffing as well. But we'll just have pot roast instead. And pot roast will be good with mashed potatoes because it's basically, like, gravy in itself, you know? Like, the whole thing is just, like, kind of, like... I, mean, I just won't put very many potatoes in the pot roast, because we're going to have mashed potatoes, right? Because it wouldn't really make sense, but... Yeah, so that's the plan. Nice. I don't always have to have tricky. Mm. Yeah. So... I may do some of that on stream, but I was kind of feeling like I knew if I did that on stream people would just be like where's the turkey where's the turkey this and i was like maybe i shouldn't do it on stream and i should just do it off stream because i'm just gonna be making like homemade mashed potatoes and pot roast but and i've already done like two pot roast streams right <laughs> but uh i don't know maybe i That's just as good. Mm -mm. Well, I might do it then. Just 
No turkey in this stream. In Rainbow Cosmic Sands. That go over pretty well. Be pretty great. Oh shit. Uh, I w I do want to do that one spot. That'd be awesome. But I feel like I should just do these areas that I've already got like basically set up here, but I haven't done. And like I said, I feel like I have just enough time to do all this, which I think looks to be the case. Eleven forty right now. Just enough food as well. Cosmic, I, always, I always say Cosmic Sands instead of Comic Sands because I'm an idiot. And I that's what I thought it was when I first read it when I was a little kid. And then that's the way it stayed this whole time. Just Things just stick with me like that. <laughs> cosmic Sands. It's a cooler name for a cool font. Should be Cosmic Sands. Boy, how am I gonna have time to water all this? If I don't water it, then it's fucked. So I can't. I'm only gonna plant half of this and see if I water all of it and then finish planting. It's so close. Oh god, I'm out of water. Ah oh, shit. That actually really sucks. Actually makes this like not good. Um. Okay. Wait. If we drink coffee. Run over the water quick, not get stuck. Maybe I'll pull this off. Right, water first, then plant. All right, we did, we almost did everything. Almost. I'd say it's pretty good. We have 620 left, which is a good amount for the greenhouse over the course of the next couple weeks or whatever. So I think, no sprinklers? Oh, we don't have enough sprinklers to cover any of that. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> Fuck no. That was never part of the plan. Auto grabber. Okay. Grab this. Make another one. Yeah. Let's make a few more of those. Huh? Okay. No rain tunnels? No. This is a one year run, so it uh, doesn't make sense to do rain totems. We're gonna start pathing this off. Okay. Oh God. Can't see what I'm doing. can't see if that's actually what's going on there, but I'm just going to have to... There's seeds and it's going to be annoying, but...
plant more starfruit deluxe beaker on your farm on the 18th. Hmm. Okay. That's true. Okay. I think we did pretty good then. What is he doing right now? Right now, I'm putting pathing down in my tree farm so that it doesn't get blocked off because seeds can fall on the ground. Which up to this point, well, it's nice to not have pathing at first so that when seeds drop, you can pick them up. Because it's, I had a problem with my previous farm where I did not have enough seeds. I just literally just want none of seeds in the game world to do what I needed to do. But now, plenty of trees. But we need to tap all of them, which is going to be like kind of my next task. I'll get that one. Um, fortunately, it's not a super uniform farm, which is going to make this a little more tricky. Like, I don't even, these aren't even the right trees. Like, this isn't the right tree. Um, 87, 86, 85. Today's 84 for the mushroom level. Okay. Okay. So, not really sure exactly. Planting is gonna go this shit like this, but this is in general a lot better. It should help keep things pretty clear. Um, and there's more seeds here to grab too, which is nice. We want to start putting a tree farm outside of the main area or something. Okay. Could probably do one more of these if we wanted to, but do we need more than that? I don't think we need more than that for this. I mean, we might as well. I guess we could, we're probably gonna end up doing one run there. So let's go ahead and get one more refined quartz. I know we have it, or maybe we don't. Wow. Okay. And then we need to start getting Grab to PewDiePie. Cool. Speed grows a lot of money. That's all right. We should be getting lots of money. Here we go. So this. Get those things. And we need to start getting kegs. So many kegs. And preserve jars, too, actually. I feel like would be good. Um, especially at the beginning here. I won't be able to get that many kegs as fast. So, where to start? Buy some iron from Clint. That's going to bleed through our money super fast. And right now, we want all of our iron for sprinklers. We need more gold. Um, we could definitely try to get a few more batteries here. Um, yeah, let's... Let's stop back real quick. I'm gonna need to buy more coffee too. I'm just gonna that's gonna go through our money too. So many things go through our money. I think that'll be enough. This should be enough so that I can do like one desert mine run. And get uh you know, enough stuff from it for the other sprinklers. Okay. We also need to ask for the greenhouse, which is going to cost 40k. Woo, we are going to be out of money. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Put these things away. Actually, let's put them in the other chest. We have 
for this stuff. It's fine. Okay. And then oak resin as well. Bruh. Important things that we have here. Oak resin. 37 kegs. Pretty good amount right now. We're not going to be able to do that for a while. Okay. And then we should probably plant some more trees somewhere. I feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't. We could put them. Let's not worry about it right now. Do I have not any basically? I need to buy stone. Yeah, we should buy stone now so we can start mushroom farming. Uh, where's all our iron and stuff? Hmm, problem. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom quick. I'll be back in a minute. We're going to spend all of our money right now. Probably a little overspent, but that's right. Sort of fucking pig if you didn't wash your hands. Rip all my money. Shaking my head. What? I do 
shit. What the fuck? Oh, I don't have enough money to buy stone. Massive lull. Fuck. More respect for Stardew Ruined. Dude, trying to make 10 million in one year. I think I give a fuck about this town, these people. I don't even know them. Look. I even talked to like over half of them. Problem we're having now. I don't have any stone. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. this town over you see what do you do about it First, need to do this. 80. This should be enough. Hopefully, don't screw this up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> I screwed it up. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Good. It's all good. Hey, Kiso X. What up? Shit's been pretty crazy today. Oh my god, look at these mushrooms. Holy shit. I should eat one of these soon. So I don't die. But you know what they say, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. 710. Looking for that 710. There it is. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to do this. Fine. Wow, it's so hard to get there in time. Damn. 
me not a hundred stones so we can get a closer. the rabbit hole goes. ladder I can get here. That's yeah, fine. Probably gonna reset anyway. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Yeesh. stone. Shows this frame rate in the upper left of the screen. No. No. Sorry about 60 FPS. Yeah. Definitely. Frame rate 60 frames a second. Oh wait, it does show my frame rate. I thought you were talking about the floor number. I'm like, no dude, I don't have 84 FPS, you dummy. <laughs> then I realized that I was a dummy. That's great. Yeah, the Steam, the Steam FPS thing that's like tiny, but it is there. I was very wrong and you were very right. Wow. Wow. What a streamer. Professional. That's why they pay me the big bucks for those Twitch bounties. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, speaking of, there's a, like an Age of Empires type RTS game that I took a bounty for. to download it, so I don't know if we'll play that today, though, unfortunately. Just a typical day in Tushi stream? Okay. True, though. <laughs> so true. It's too real. the lie. What? I just want to know when we can have more Wendy's fries streams. That's 
What's up? So you ever find a way to integrate Twitchy and Randomizer? No, I mean, I had some ideas, but nothing that I actually implemented. I mean, I'd have to set up like a whole Twitch API poll system and, you know, I'd have to pull the Twitch chat and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with that shit. Oh God. I'm not gonna get back. Oh God, we're definitely not gonna get back. Okay, we didn't make it back. Uh, so we just go here. Get some iron, I suppose. I guess we, well, it's too late to go back to the farm and set anything else up now, but. Okay, um, this one. Hundred. I would like to get more sprinklers down, but I also don't want to pass out. It's 1.40 a.m. All right, I'm passing out, boys. Oh, I guess I only have 12 money, so I can. Well, it, looks, it looks like I went to the wrong area of the farm, so I'll lose my one gold. Will I even lose one gold? I don't know. I didn't need to do the greenhouse quite this early. It's not the best mushroom farm day. Pass out, no sprinklers down. I only had 12 gold, so I couldn't really lose money. I mean, the money that you make afterwards doesn't count. I already know it doesn't count until after. Okay, grandma. Watch. One gold lost. One G. I would have lost a thousand if it would have been, you know, that. Doesn't pull it from that. Coffee. Let's go over here. Well, at least, well, let's plant the ones further, so ones closer would be easier to remember and everything. Yeah, let's get to these out of here. I have to remember to, to water all of these. If I miss it once, game fucking over. <laughs> Cannot miss watering these. We also could put down speed grow and then plant more today. What do lightning rods do? They get zapped with electricity and then they make a battery. Which I should have some batteries finishing up here shortly. And, uh... Rudium sprinklers. Yep. Again, we can really get batteries. This is the first time we've really had a chance to get batteries. So. But we have to go to the desert mine. We have to make time to go to the desert mine. And do a full Iridium run. We will do that. Soon. Um... We're gonna wait until our mushroom level is gone. I think. And then we're gonna do it. I don't want to turn on my axe. But I really want to get rid of more trees soon. But it takes so long. My axe at. Oh, fuck. 
God damn it. See, this what I'm talking about. This is why I didn't... That's why I put that on the pass. But there's seeds places and then it grows in and then... Super annoying. God damn it. There's more seeds here. Still got a lot to water. It's gonna be a lot of watering the next couple days. I think we got the greenhouse a little early. People were like, someone was saying like you want to have it before Thursday so we can get speed grow and then that, but we're not gonna have enough money to do all that. Rip resin. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna run out of water up one short here. Fuck me. Okay, um. Gotta do all the watering down here. No, actually, we've done all. This is all sprinklered. Okay. It's not that bad then. I can work with this. Okay. Um. I would like to get the, the axe in so we don't have to deal with this bullshit. That'd be nice. Go turn in that axe. Um. Okay. More iron first. Wait, and we need pickaxe, because we're going to do a... Ooh. Shit. No, no. We're not going to need a better pickaxe, unfortunately. Uh... Wait, no, we do need a better pickaxe. Do we need a better pickaxe to get iridium? I can't remember. We should probably get a better pickaxe. But the thing is, we can't really mushroom farm if we don't have a better pickaxe. So that kind of fucks up our mushroom farming. Decision there. Do upgrade the axe or we upgrade the pickaxe? Upgrade the Upgrade the pickaxe that really could fuck over our mushroom farming. Pickaxe can mine anything just takes a bit. Okay. How about this? We'll just get the axe first, then we'll do the pickaxe, and then after we upgrade the pickaxe, then we'll go to the desert mine. Maybe. Well. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? Do nothing. We have a little more time. We could try to. No, I'm not getting the ladder here. That's fine. Whatever. If we don't have a pickaxe, if we literally just don't have one, K man, we could get blocked out. Like cock blocked from <laughs> from being able to get to mushrooms. Um we probably should just upgrade it anyway, but Gonna blow up anything that blocks the way. Yeah, but that costs resources. And we need our copper for copper bars for the taps that we desperately need. Our iron for sprinklers and for kegs, which we desperately need. And the gold for well, we don't we'd have to have different stuff to get the gold to mega bombs. We need the gold for uh sprinklers too, so it's just 
Yeah, and we don't have that much money, so we can't just buy a lot of resources for lots of bombs. And in a couple of days, we're going to want to spend probably like 50 to 60k on materials for bombs. I'm not going to really get the dwarf, because there's no way I'm just going to magically get all the dwarf scrolls, so. Yeah. I'm going to have to buy all those materials. But I'll go ahead and do the pickaxe upgrade. Why would my him taking my pickaxe away? Why would my inventory need to be have one empty for that? <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so now I need to buy stone. I should have sold that diamond to him. It's alright though. Alright, and then we're gonna try mushroom farm as much as we can. It's on, it's on 83 today. Tomorrow will be 82 and then 81. I want that too. What? Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> okay. Uncle, what's going on? some cases where I will use bombs here like if there's a a vein of like four five or five gold or higher then I'll probably drop a bomb on it this it's also blocking my way so, <laughs> so that's what I didn't want to happen to have rock block my way use a bomb but in this case that's perfect because the thing is blocking my way this gold which I would have bombed anyway so there you go but there's no mushrooms here which is really fucking weird but all right a rosy Way still bay. Oopsie. Another thing is I can't mine my way back down. So, like, if I mess this up with the staircase even once, like, I'm pretty much fucked. <laughs> like, I have to not mess it up today. Because normally if I mess it up, like, I can just mine around a little bit, get a little bit of stone to get another staircase, or I can just mine, look for a staircase that's close, and then make it work, you know? Just not completely optimal. But no, right now, like, there's no way to get a staircase unless I place a staircase. So I have to be very careful that I don't mess up and like leave right if I left right now rip we'd lose our stairs but now I can leave so play with all the mushrooms sell them for lots of money oh, wait what am I doing I almost just messed it up see I, was, I almost just messed everything up and I don't have enough stone to even get one more staircase so we have to be very careful iron bar is nice People always are really like 
that's like a question people have, which is kind of valid. It's like, you know, like, why are you trying to get mushrooms? But it's like, it's like when you ask, like, what are you going to do with all the mushrooms? It's like, and what do you think? I'm just going to fucking sell them. Because, <laughs> like, it, it's pretty, I think, like, you know, anyone that's ever sold a purple mushroom will realize that they're worth a good amount of money. But, like, what the fuck? that time must have ticked right as I came down or some shit. But the, I guess the red mushrooms, it's like, they're not worth very much, but when you have a shitload of them, they are. They're all iridium quality. Can you just go to 120 if you left too early and go back up again? Uh, that's actually a good suggestion. If you leave... And you know that you... That's like that's if you know that you fucked up. Like, if I accidentally... I, which has happened a few times. I click on the ladder. I'm like, wait, no, it's about to tick. If you can run from here to here... And it still hasn't ticked yet... Then, yeah, you would want to go lower. That's actually a good point. And then... Wait for it to tick and then go up and try again. If you know that, like, you can't make it from here to here... And then to here in time. But... Pretty situational. And usually what happens is you're not paying attention. When it happens to me, it's usually I'm not paying attention. So. Yeah. I should have just got that on the way back since I usually have to double back anyway. Unless there's a ladder over here. So. Should have just started going towards the mushrooms. But it's fine. There usually isn't a ladder on the other end. Just hit eight. I think I can make it back in time. A little risky, but. It wasn't that close. It was fine. Calculated risk. up is our timing yeah so if i was to go up right now and the time ticks before i get back to 82 then all the levels would reset Ooh. Uh oh okay see like right now i have to get down there oh she see this is me messed i messed up there we go that's the example of me messing up so now there's no ladder so now we're done mushroom farming for today uh, and we had like four more levels left, which is pretty fucking shitty. My coffee ran out, which is one of the reasons why it, I didn't realize it ran out. That's fine, I guess. We can live with that. I mean, I could make a bomb. And then, since there is some gold here, let's see if we could make this work. No ladder. I don't have a pickaxe. Um, we can do. How much we have nine coal left. Not a lot of stone. Oh, not a lot of stone. I'm looking for a lot of stone. The bomb. We'll just go up. We'll just go back to our farm and uh, tend some stuff. That's fine, actually, because we do have a lot of sprinklers to plant, I believe, right? 
I get my sprinklers to plant. You see now? Okay, cool. Now I don't need to explain. More sprinklers. It's not bad. Uh, put this in here. Mm. So you want to get the one immediately above the mushroom level. That way it keeps all the ladders, all the levels above you stay the same all the things below you aka the mushroom level reset yep okay so i guess this is a good time for me to just like clear off some like farm and shit too well i could actually plant some uh of the tree farm as well We need to get the whole farm cleared off. But we should really plant more maple trees. That's what we should do. Uh, looks like we've already planted everything here, basically. Uh, there's already a maple tree here, so we probably don't want to chop it down. Uh, okay. This farm's pretty freaking messy. We could plant trees up here. Um, it's not ideal. Especially because we could just put kegs here. I'm trying to think. It's because I'm wood pass when you hoe the land, it doesn't uh, go away. I can go back to the mine quick. I could also put, yeah, that's it. I don't know where I should put in the trees. Yeah, these are reset, which means I have enough time to do all these now. Nice. That's all my coal. We also need to put down scarecrows. Might be able to do that a little bit. Um. Okay, so tomorrow we should be able to put down a lot more sprinklers, and then we need to start shifting our focus to kegs. We should already have some kegs down, to be honest, but sprinklers, kegs, is hard to balance. Which to get. But. Let's see here. We sh probably should honestly have had a few charcoal kilns going. And then just buy wood because it's like 25% or 50% cheaper than buying the coal. So, we need more wood to get scarecrows and to get taps. Get some wood right here. Inside. Okay. <sighs> what version of the game are you using? I could show you. Okay. Teens of summer. This is when we have to buy all of the speed grow. It's like the only chance we get. So we're gonna have to buy all of it today. We can sell some of these coffee beans. And we could also sell some starfruit if we need to. Um, Deluxe Bee Girl costs 100. <clears throat> 100 times. We could do all 120 for the thing, but we should do like, like 116. 116. 
11,000. It's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm gonna have to exit, turn to title so I can see the version number, right? 1.3.32. So, aka latest version of vanilla. <laughs> Best of luck. Try to do as much mushroom farming as we can here. Okay. I don't think it's worth it to have coffee when we're just trying to water because we're not moving around very much, you know? Like, a little bit of moving, but not really gonna make that much of a difference. So. Older version of older version doesn't spawn mushroom levels. How do you know that it doesn't spawn mushroom levels? It randomly spawns between levels of 80 and 120. And you can't see it when it's on an elevator level, even if it exists on that level. Which is 20% of all the levels. So are you confident? Because you really can't be. It's possible there's zero mushroom levels. In fact, I probably will have zero mushroom levels in a few days here until the season resets and then I have a higher chance of having some more. It's a chance to have multiple, that's also a chance to have zero. Right now, I'm pretty sure I just have the one, which is on level 82. Once it gets to level 80, so in two more days, it'll be gone forever, and then I'll have zero, unless a new one has spawned at that point, which I won't know. There's a game- yeah, there is a game save analyzer to see where they're at. You can always do that. 3.5%. 3.5% per day on 40 different levels, yeah. I have cleared 176 eligible levels with no spawns. Okay, well, uh, which older, like, how old of the version of the game do you have? Mushroom spawn, mushroom farming has always been a thing. What, like, what, what are you playing on? PC? Are you playing on console? Cycle <laughs> loop back. No, that was actually incorrect for Muad. I was saying that very early on, and I was just straight up wrong. That's, I think, like, some YouTube video had said that, but is that just not how it works at all? Previous PC version? Yeah, I mean, I was on, I did, one like, a challenge a few months back on that version. It's perfectly fine. If you're on PC, then you can do me a favor, and I can show you straight up what's up. All you gotta do... Is tell me your seed, which is pretty simple. If you're on Steam, hopefully you have it on Steam, which I bet you do. You can go to Stardew Valley, right-click Properties, and then go to Local Files, and then go to Browse Local Files. Okay. Then you're here. Then you're gonna want to go to. This is wrong. Okay. Uh, never mind. You're gonna have to go to <laughs> your users. On your computers, like your C drive, probably users, and then the user that you use, and then app data, and then roaming, and then Stardew Valley. Using GOG, I know where the game save files are. Perfect. Then just look this up. This is mine right here, and this is my seed. So 
type in your seed into the chat and I will show you exactly what's up. Okay, now, it'd also be good to show chat too for people like, oh, that's cool. Okay, you already have this seed number. Cool. That was fast. All right, now, um, Stardew Valley save. Um, the uh, seed mushroom farm. Uh, no, save number farm. Uh, mushroom farm checker. There you go. Cat. Boo -doo -boo -boo. What the fuck? Just let me put in the thing. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Can I just put in the... Fuck, I want to look at yours. I'm pretty sure this literally just uses this, so I'm going to try something. It should be pretty funny. All right, watch this. So we go here, and then we're going to go uh, to roaming. No, fuck. App data. And then roaming, and then stardew. And saves. I'm pretty sure if I just take any of these, copy, paste, and then go like this, and then no, and then put in your uh thing two two one eight one four eight two. That. Oh fuck! I'm an idiot. uses the file name. I'm pretty sure that's all it uses. I'm on day 11 with the run, though. 7th to 10th with different seats. Okay. Okay. So, uh... This is how it works. So, it's showing right now... You're on the 11th? 97 is a mushroom level, then 96, and there's none because it's on 95. 94, 93, 92, 91, 92. So you have one mushroom level. And this is where it's at. That's what it is for you. Now, that's assuming it just pulls the... I think... Uh, it, it, it might be different. Like... How about this? You can take your save because it might show up different for you. So I'll go ahead and post this in chat and you can check by putting your file name in it. It should just pull the number and that's it. Obviously things are different like the um the save and the name and stuff like that, but but yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, so you can go there and check it yourself. Chances are you just missed it. Because that happened to me once too. I was like, had done a few attempts. I was getting frustrated because I couldn't find a mushroom level. And then I put it in the thing and it turns out there actually was a mushroom level. I did that on the previous, like the 5 million in one year challenge. I'm pretty sure I did that. I haven't had to do it on this challenge. But I may have to do it here if I don't find a mushroom level because I don't want to risk just fucking up the run because I can't find a mushroom level or some shit. Okay. Um, I should have done all the watering. So now, we don't have a pickaxe. We need to have stone. So, we're going to go buy some stone from Robin. But we also need to get fertilizer or the, like the quality flux speed grow or whatever. And we also need some more wood, too. Let's see if we can chop down some trees, clear this out a bit. This, this shit was annoying me. Mm. 
So many sprinklers. Yep. It's done with Robin. Yo, Silver. Thank you for one year, dude. Can't believe it's been one year. Dude, it does not feel like a year. Holy shit. Crazy. Thanks, man. Right, it's because it's been 11 months. Well, this is the start of your 12th month, I think, right? I think that's how that works. Because you paid for tw you paid for 12 months. But also, it could be off by a month, too, just because Twitch, that is something Twitch would uh, be bad about. Pretty sure Docs is off by a few months, because it's like 50-something months, but it's like, at this point, it's just like, I don't know. It's just, things all out of whack, but... Anyway. Right, I, go I need to go to the bathroom. This will be a few minutes, actually. But I'll be back. I'll be back in a few minutes and we're doing good so far so i think things are going well today it's things are getting more intense though we got a lot more to manage so 12th month started during gift miss yeah i remember i remember mm -hmm.
Okay. Wash my hands, by the way. Check also against the earliest predictor says I should see mushroom level. Is day 21. This game hates me. That's crazy, dude. That's very unlucky. Very unlucky. What you could do, Jabber, is just start a new run and then on day one just check the save file. You know? One of those things where like it's not exactly it doesn't feel like I wouldn't want to do that on a challenge run like this, because it's like just restart, restart, just do a hundred ones until you get one where it's like, oh, there's gonna be three mushroom levels and they're all gonna be good. This is perfect. You know, it's like, okay, are you just like seed hunting at that point? It's kinda like but if you've done like seven runs, you haven't got anything like, oh man, whatever, just fucking, you know. Make sure you're not going to spend another 10 days realizing that you're playing a bad seed again. Day one check now? Yeah, that's what I would do. If I was in your position. So, Scarecrow, we need coal, yeah. Go to Robin, buy some stone. Ooh, we have not gone to get the deluxe. Ooh. Shit. Can't go buy coal. I'm just fucked, man. Pull the Abigail hostage for stone. She's at her fucking doctor's appointment today. I'm pretty sure. It's only 80. Let's buy two sets then. We need 116. I thought it was a hundred for whatever reason. I bought it many times though. I don't know why I forgot, but I did. Okay. Now, I mean, what do we do? We can't get stone. We could get coal from soot sprites. <laughs> there we go. We got this, guys. Here 
we go. Nice. Oh, there's more. No, those are all fucking assholes. We got this. Now, we need to go to 80. Marshall is on 82, so we just need this one bomb to work. That's all we need. Just gotta put it in a good spot. Hey, what up? What up, stream? We did it. We're good. Recovered. Ah! Try to get all fancy the clock. Uh huh. I will. <laughs> and I'll mess it up. Want to zoom as a kid on PBS? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's like the sciencey kind of show with like lots of projects and stuff. Pretty cool. Oh. Right, silver? Is that what it was? Woo! Dodge. Awesome, love the sound of this. What, the zoom thing? Okay, Lyman's here. Oh, you're talking about D and D. Price setup should be good for a frontline guy. So the price is seven and three XP each. Only slain one creature. <laughs> oh my god. Sounds awesome. Can't wait. When you can't wait, we're not gonna watch it. I just, we're just talking about it. Bilingual Sesame Street. Is that really like what? Am I thinking of something else? <coughs> yeah. Yes. This is what I'm thinking about. I mean, I don't see why this is like a bilingual Sesame Street. Sesame Street's a bunch of fucking puppet, like a bunch of characters and fucking costumes and shit. Just like teaching you like, ran, you know, just like how to be nice and shit like that. Zoom is like projects and cooking and learning about like, you know, right? I don't know. I'm sure Silver's more of an expert on the, uh, so was a zoom in 99 never saw it probably different than what I'm than what you're okay so we're probably talking about two different things then zoom is like they'll ask a question like I wonder how far away this is from or like you know like a, like a sciencey kind of question I wonder, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll like come up with a project and then they'll do the project on the show.
Introduction post in the main Discord channel. All the table rules. All that garbage. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like with D&D, the main thing that keeps it fun or makes it fun or not fun is just depends. Uh, obviously, one, have a good DM, but it's that your group of players are all like on the same page as far as like how fucking try hard it's going to be, right? Like if. You have a few people that are like really casual, but then a few people that are like super tryhards, it's not gonna be a good time. So you either wanna have like all tryhards or like all casual. You're gonna say like a Bible such she wasn't a shape of the cast, but the role it played. Lots of bits were counting English and Spanish and stuff. Very young kid stuff. Hmm. Okay. I'm being the same page of tone in the game makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, because like Kale and I have been a part of two d and groups. Fuck, see I got cock blocked, that's why I didn't want that's why I wanted my pickaxe. We've been on two D&D groups, and like one of them, everyone's pr like really new and just like also just chill, and we have a great fucking time. And then another one was like half of them are like brand new players. So like don't know how to role play, like myself really. Like bad at it. Like try, but I understand what I'm supposed like it's supposed to be, like role play the character and like understand your backstory and like really get into the character, but it's hard to do that on your very first attempt, right? But you like half the people are like really into D D and the character and and so like they get upset if you're not like role playing properly. Fuck dude, I'm not resetting the level, that's what's happening here. You still may have a problem. But it's not good. Just serious, silly campaign edgy as well. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of comes into try hardness, right? Too. Like, generally, if someone's really like try hard, really into their character, and like, you know, then they're going to be upset if you do something that's like not really a part of your character. It's just like silly. It's like, you know, it like doesn't really. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like that's like the most important thing. Looks super duper nerdy and shit. Quite as much effort, so I never tried it. That's why I never tried it. Well, I never had the opportunity to try it either because I didn't have any people that, that were going to play it. But then I had the opportunity to try it. And I was like, sure, I'll try it because I have n I don't understand anything about it. And I went in not understanding anything. And we have... We had me and Kayla, which had never played it before. Someone else who had never played it before. And then two people who had played it like once or twice. And then the, the DM had played it once, but never DM'd. But he's very like good at attention to detail and just a smart guy. So he like, you know, did his research on how to DM properly. And so he's a really good DM actually. Um, And we just have a great old time. And the, the people, the two people that had played D and D like once or twice before, are that are playing as characters, not as the DM. So the two people that are playing as characters that have played before are like the most chill dudes. So overall, we just have a really good time. And it's not like I I don't do any work outside of the thing, like. I don't want to like have to do work like even though I like doing the D&D &D group I don't want to have to like you know do prepare stuff outside of the actual time that we spend on it right we spend a few hours a week sometimes we skip a week because someone's busy that's like two two and a half to three hours a week that's it so it's like a small thing we don't it takes us a long time to do anything <laughs> 
but we've been doing it for a few months and it's actually been just like really chill and enjoyable um for for everyone involved i'm pretty sure so yeah um so again didn't do any didn't i didn't have any understanding beforehand haven't done anything outside of the time that we have during the game there's sometimes during the game towards the beginning where i'd have to like i have to look in the book to like understand something or like and ask a lot of questions so like there was that but besides that like it was very chill and not didn't feel like super nerdy right what you play we're playing the um the lost minds of Fandolin campaigns like a basic campaign again it's just their DM's first time DMing, so yeah. But yeah. PC's not one of any work in the game expecting the DM to come prepared for every session. Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> the thing is, like, our DM does prepare things for the session, and we don't have any preparation for us. But there isn't any expect expectations from us because we've never fucking played before, right? Um, so really, all it comes down to is just when we actually sit down and play. Like, I just have you know, you should really pay attention and be respectful, right? You shouldn't just be like on your phone. <laughs> But, uh, I need scarecrows. That's true. <clears throat> what character class do you play? Hmm, I'm a noble fighter. The classes were predetermined. In this case, again, because it was our very first time. So, when we were handed our sheets, I literally didn't know anything. <laughs> and I had to learn from there, so... And it wasn't too bad for me to learn because I play video games. So a lot of the stuff was like things I already understood and heard. Like your strength modifier and agility and all that stuff and what it affects. And I'm like, okay, okay, this all makes sense to me. Pre-gen characters. Yep. So if you play pre-gen on Lost Minds of Phandalin campaign, it's possible you have the same character as me then? I don't know how that works. I haven't looked up the campaign at all to understand like what's preset and everything, but I really want to after we finish the campaign. But hmm. I'm trying to get coal. Fuck. Wait, I have to plant the stuff today. I don't have to, but I should. I bought the speed growth, so. As a player, I prefer my fellow players to prepare at least checking their notes or something for a few minutes before the start session starts in the 20s asking what happened. Well, we don't have that problem because what every time we start our DM explains what happened he spends like three minutes like i'm pretty sure after each session when we leave he like writes down what happened so whenever we start everyone sits down and then we always listen to him say what happened last time and then we so we remember so yeah that's how we do we have a good dm use greenhouse yep that's what i'm about to do um for my pleasure to take notes we take notes too we take notes too so like we take notes on like all of the quests that are happening and stuff like that and like you know character relations which characters we've met 
you know, which in towns, like which places we go to. That way, every time we go to a city, we're not like, oh, we need want to go to this to a place that's like this, and he has to tell us what it is, and we get there, and a guy greets us that we already knows us. We're not like, what's his name again? Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, we write notes down for that. But as far as like recap of what happened last time, he writes down the recap and then tells us. that make indie campaigns maps online now? Probably, yeah. Um, let's see here. Setting up for redeem sprinklers here. Yeah, you can plant trees in the green. Well, fruit trees. Can I plant basic trees? Never tried. Oh shit, you can. That's good. Time to water. Do I have enough time to even do this? I might have to do this tomorrow. Is this going to stay hoed? I think it should because it's inside. Let's just leave and come back tomorrow. That's fine. 